Fixed wing and ground missions I knew. I'd done a ton of those over the past eight years. But this was different. We'd added a rotor wing to our program. Our first helicopter mission was here, and I was on it. The skies were perfect for about an hour into the 90-minute flight. We noticed a massive curtain of snow up ahead. Our attempts to fly around it failed. The experienced safety officer announced from the front seat, Take me home, and we headed back. The closer we got to home, the thicker the snow became. We listened as the safety officer talked with the pilot about the deteriorating weather, elevating the level of concern as we went along. The pilot acknowledged each concern, maneuvering the aircraft in response. We eventually learned that the only clear path in the weather was blocked after the pilot's call to ATC noted that some heavies were using the airspace to land at the nearby international airport. So a turn in their direction was out. The safety officer again elevated her alarm. The pilot looked for a solution. I made eye contact with my partner and pushed my microphone up above my visor. We need to land now, I mouthed to her as I pointed to my eyes and then out towards the snow. Then you tell him, she said, pointing a nervous finger at me. No, you tell him. We went back and forth like this, each pointing at the other, till finally she lowered her mic and asked, Has anyone thought about just landing now? Great idea, the pilot and safety officer announced, as if the drill had ended, as if the novice crew members in the back finally understood the lesson. We descended toward the town below. I reflected. I remembered bits and pieces of our survival training, crew resource management, as well as the safety stories I had seen online so many times before. I was angry. How do we end up in this situation on our very first helicopter flight? I thought about the most recent air medical crashes. Have they ended up in the same situation? Did they have the same unexpected changes in weather? At that point I realized this new facet of our program was very different from what I was used to. There was no option to pull over, find shelter, fly above the weather carefree in our jet. Then it clicked. Like a switch that had been flipped. This is the dynamic environment we learned about. The pilot and safety officer weren't just in the mood to have a conversation. They were both active participants of the flight, both relying on each other to proceed. There was no time for passive crew members. Together, they were searching for the safest path to continue. At this point, to land. The pilot noticed a cul-de-sac on the ridge in front of us as an option. A grassy field next to a playground was a better one. As we crept over the playset and outbuilding, he set the aircraft down, shut the engines off to save fuel. Our dispatch center located our position and sent for a local fire truck to keep the crew warm on the 30 degree day. Thank God I dressed for the weather. Thank God we found a place to land. <laughs> 